I have a quick tip for those who are working on a Tri-5 Chevy car like a 55, 6, or 7. There's this O-ring that goes on the gas filler tube that shoves in the gas tank to keep it from leaking. I find myself without one today and I want to get this put in the tank and I don't want to wait on one to ship here. I don't mind paying three or four dollars for it, but it's the whole shipping delay time. So what I did was I got, then I bought a piece of this straight hose, two inch gate, straight, straight flat hose. And uh, this stuff's quite expensive in fact. But what I did was I needed to put this on my tank, on my filler here to connect anyway. But I got to thinking, what if, so I take my bandsaw and I make a good square cut. It needs to be square, not jagged. And then I cut this little piece off of it right here. Cut this little piece off. I don't know, I, it's about a quarter inch, through a five sixteenths wide. Uh, but just enough to fit in this groove right here. Now it's a little square, but I, I mean it's good soft rubber. So I don't think that'll be an issue. And I think it'll slide right in there like right inside the tank and seal it off and it's free and I can get it done today. And I don't think it's gonna leak any more than a factory type O-ring will leak because those things are kind of known for not sealing very good anyway. So anyway, that's what I did, cut a, but you need to get a good straight cut on it. Uh, I used a bandsaw that I use for wood, but you could use, I guess anything, as long as it cuts it good and square and, and then flat and then consistent. Uh, so anyway, that's uh, what I'm gonna give it a try and see if it works and avoid that whole rubber O-ring waiting thing. This is from Hot Rods Wood Shop. Peace out, y'all have a good day. So there's my piece of rubber pipe, or well, my rubber that I cut on the previous video and installed it on my gas filler pipe for my 57. Now, I tell you what I did have to do, I did have to bring it over and put it on the grinder and just kind of dress that off a little bit and roll it around and do a smooth job because the ear, this little wedge shape was sticking out too far and it wouldn't let it push in the tank. So I just knocked it down a little bit, not much, because you want a pressure fit, you know. So I got a little oil on it and I'm gonna try to push it up in there and see if it'll go. So. I think that this would be a good alternative to the rubber O-ring, actually, and I think it's probably every bit as good, personally. So let's try it and see what happens. So I'm gonna try to slide this fitting up in the gas tank, and yes, this is a nine-passenger Beauville 57 wagon, so I hear it's somewhat rare, so let's see what happens here. Let's see if I can push this up in there, let's see if it'll go. Oh, look at that. Yes, that's a nice fit too. Yep, happy about that. Good deal. So that just goes to show uh, you can you can do it if you don't have the O-ring. You can make your own for nothing other than your scrap left over from your rubber cuff that you installed on the um, gas filler neck. So that's what I did. This is Hot Rods Woodshed. Working on my 57 Chevy wagon. Peace out.